Okay, your machine's been running funny and everything, and you've gone to the task manager to see uh, what's going on. As a matter of fact, you may even uh, already have gone in there and uh, checked all your CPU, you know, all that stuff to see uh, what it is. But uh, then you want to find out what's actually starting up when your when your computer starts. So you head on over to the startup tab, and you see all these programs that start when your computer starts, and it tells you what they are supposedly and they're enabled uh, who the publisher is and the impact to your computer uh, during startup and uh, here you can disable them but let's say you have some that you don't recognize uh, you see all the ones here but you have one like this it says program and it doesn't tell you who made it or anything like that well here's how to get some more information now you can do the uh, normal right click and you can't check on properties you can do search online but it's not going to tell you much because the title is just programs. So what do you do? Well, you come up here to the taskbar, or to the listing here, and the titles, and you right-click and you just add in the command line. And look what you see. You see the details of where that program is and where it's launched from. Sometimes this isn't accurate, uh, so we're going to do a search on this. But for example, if we go out here to the internet and we look for uh, the one note m.exe and we'll just type in it in here and say okay uh, one note m.exe so I just type, start typing here one on m.exe and uh, you should come up with similar results as this when I do that I see there's a synopsis here when you're using Bing it tells you it's one notes quick launcher so basically this uh, program uh, helps it to uh, launch one note faster. So do you need it? No. I just disable it. And therefore it doesn't take up any resources, doesn't do anything uh, as far as the system. I can wait for one note to start. Now instead of disabling it you, uh, here, you may want to actually go in and remove the program from your system. So we'll look at a couple ways. First you can go into the settings app and go up here to apps. And it may take a few seconds for it to populate down here. Uh, but once it does, it lists all your stuff, and then you can sort it by name and all that. Now I'm going to type in something here to try and find GOG, for example, uh, the Galaxy install. And there it is, GOG Galaxy. If I click on that, you notice it's uninstalled. But that will un uninstall your entire program, not just that helper. So you don't really want to do that. Matter of fact, you're really going to find something in here where you can uninstall just the helper. So just to double check, we'll take a look at another one here. Uh, let's see, Plex, okay, which is our, our media server uh, driver for that. Oh, uh, here's Spotify, for example. So let's go back over here, and we'll type in here, Spotify. Now, if this is a program you're not actively using, go ahead and uninstall it. Click on the install and remove it all, and it should clean up that as well. If not, uh, you, you want to just leave it there, that's fine. Now here I'm going into the control panel, the old way of doing exactly the same thing. And you can look in here, things are installed. As a matter of fact, it's a good idea once in a while to click on this up here and sort by install date so you can see what was installed recently, especially if you have some strange stuff going on. So I have some a lot of add-ons for you know video production and for programming, but uh, here's the GOG here. It'll do the same thing if I want to uninstall it. Uh, so again, be uh, cautious of whether or not you want to do that, just to get rid of the stub. So if you uh, don't want to uninstall the entire program, you just want to find that little exe, then you can use File Explorer. So I want to find this Middleton program. Maybe I want to delete the directory it's in. Uh, maybe I want to just take a look at it and uh, see what I can find out about it through my uh, system. So if I go over here and I... Uh, can open the file location for some reason. Uh, you're going to find out why here in a minute. So let's go ahead and browse where it says it's going to be at. So if I go to my system, I open up my Windows, and I open up my C drive, and come down here to Program, Program Files, and we're going to go down here to Microsoft Office, and it, uh, there's Office 16, and if we look here, I'm looking for OneNote, and guess what? I can't find it. So what does that mean? Well, let's assume here that uh, an earlier version of Office uh, installed that, and then they changed it in a later version, 
or I uninstalled and reinstalled something else, whatever the reason it's no longer there. So what do I do? Well, I can search around a bit. What I, what I did here is I just simply typed in uh, one uh, note in my search and it took a while to index it and didn't really find anything. But you can do that as well. So what to do now? Well, uh, the one last thing you can do. We're going to take a look at the registry. Now to search the registry, we're going to go ahead and go down here to the search box and we're going to type in uh, REG, it should bring up uh, your registry in the results. Now it may take a minute for it to bring up. Now mine was already expanded, so I'm going to go up here to the top and uh, put it back to uh, its root levels. And by the way, the links of where we're going to search at are uh, in the uh, description of this video. Now there's a couple of different ways you can search in uh, the Task Manager. Uh, we're going to go to the uh, Edit menu up here. We're just going to say search. Now it's going to check everything at the root level, wherever level you're at. So you don't want to really do it this way. It's just going to take forever and it may not find what you want. So instead, there's a couple of places in the registry that define uh, what programs start. I put the registry locations in the description of this video so you can take a look there. Uh, but basically there's a run and a run once uh, that are in the registry in two different uh, sections. So just look at those and you can find uh, the page you want. Now in this case, uh, I found the run. You see here it tells exactly which ones are registered and all that. And we can actually compare those to the task manager to see if uh, they're listed there. So if we go over here back to task manager, bloop, uh, there it is. And sure enough, uh, they match up. But as I mentioned, there's two separate locations. You may have to check those uh, just to make sure, see where that manufacturer had registered his uh, program uh, with. And there you have it. Uh, how to see what's uh, running on your computer during startup to see if it's impacting your system. And if it's uh, sort of ambiguous to, to find that program and identify it and maybe disable it depending upon what your needs are. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.